welcome to five minute yoga that you can do in the morning, in the evening, whenever you feel like you want to empower yourself. All right, so stand tall, maybe a little bit more distance in between your feet than hip. Then reach your arms up and move your left arm to your right side. The other arm can just come down. Get that stretch into your left side body. Gauge your core as you lift up and switch side. Let's do that with our breath. So you inhale as you move. Exhale to your right. Inhale, move up. Exhale, left. One more time to each side. Inhale, up. And exhale, down. Inhaling, up. And coming to your left side. From here, probably standing at the top end of your mat, if you have a mat out. <laughs> Fold forward. Now soften your knees as much as you need to. Relax your head. No need to look at the screen like right now. Just say no with your neck. And then soften your knees, coming into chair pose. Reach your arms forward. So you find some version of, of chair here, either higher or lower, depending on your condition today. <laughs> Reach up and let your arms roll back as you lean forward, finding the floor. Sitting down, reach your arms forward. And again, reach up, take your arms behind you as you turn into a forward fold to find the floor. Maybe on an inhale, reach up through chair pose, exhale, lean forward. And do it slow, a few times more. Now, if you don't have any knee issues, just sit low if you want to get warm. One last time. Finishing in forward fold. Step your right leg back, lower down your knee. And maybe you soften here a little, little bit, move forward and back. Or stand still if you like. Lift the back knee off, step back down with facing dog. If you're up for it, you can do a vinyasa, which means coming into a plank. I suggest we move down on our knees the first time. Elbows pointing back, lower down, take your time. Lift your chest, move your shoulders back and find down dog again. Take your right leg and move it to the front. Low lunge, knee down. And again, you can move forward and back as you like. Wrapping it up, downward facing dog. Stand still or do your vinyasa. Inhale on plank. Exhale, lower down. Engage your core as you lower down. Lift through your ribs here. Coming back into down dog. Now take your right leg again, lift it up and step it to the top end of the mat. Turn the back foot around, warrior two. So lift up, take your arms out. Align them with the floor, hands sink low if you're up for that today. Try to steady your hip as we'll twist a little bit here. So your shoulders will move like you're moving your shoulders to the front. And be mindful, <laughs> coming back the other way. And just one more time to the front. Now, if you're unsure about warrior two and you want to take a look at the screen, you might step the back foot to the front and just switch. But I'm going to turn on my mat, so you might not be able to see the screen, but you know what to do, <laughs> warrior two. And then turning your torso, keeping your spine tall as you turn gently your chest to the front. Moving back through warrior two, 
and then turning back. Way harder going back, right? <laughs> and one more time to the front. And back to warrior two. Then we're gonna do forward fold, but wide legged. So you can bring your hands down, take the back foot there, move the toes in, fold forward. I love this after a long day. <laughs> You might stand still for one or two more breaths or more do a dancing version of this one. Then lift your head up and kind of wiggle your toes, your feet a little bit closer. This time, knees and toes pointing out horse stance. So come down, maybe higher, maybe lower, depending on your condition today. And take your cactus arms with you. So fingers out, you might even wiggle with them if you like. And then inhale, reach your arms up and then go into cactus arms. Exhale, just a few times. Two more times. And take your hands down if you feel like your thighs are dying. <laughs> Stretch your legs or just go for a gentle twist. Left shoulder to right side. Moving up just once or twice to each side. Make your way back to the top end of the mat. Roll up. One more posture, back bend. That's almost the only direction that we're missing now. So soften your knees, maybe take hold of your back if you like that. Look up. Remember to breathe. And maybe smile. Let your abs here and pull your back. And then we can finish standing in mountain pose, hands and prayer posture. Close your eyes. And maybe think of something that you're grateful for, something you look forward to. Maybe put a smile on your face. We know that what we do with our bodies also influence our minds. I hope you had a great small class. Thank you for joining me and see you next time.